I think we're on the air. Welcome to Verbling. Welcome to Verbling Conversations with Jeff. Uh, I am filling in for another teacher this hour, and uh, I am going to be using the Google Hangout chat box. I am an English teacher, but I think more importantly, I am a language student. I have been studying Spanish for six years, so I have an okay level of Spanish. It's pretty good. And I have just started learning Portuguese. And so um, we are going to talk about finding good content to listen to, to watch, and to read in English. To get, uh, to find as much uh, content and spend as much time as possible developing your vocabulary and developing your English. And so if I can ask everybody to please look for this icon on your screen and open up your Google chat box. We're going to be using that. And if I could ask everyone please to turn off, silence, unplug, your microphones uh, so that we have a nice quiet environment to have our conversation. And so I, I don't have my questions ready yet. I'm a little unprepared, but I'm going to start with uh, Ahmed. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yes, could you just quickly introduce yourself to the new students? And uh, what, what kinds of things do you read, watch, and listen to in English? Uh, hi, all. Uh, I'm Mohamed. Uh, I'm from Islam in Economics. I love to uh, watch English movies, a lot of English movies. And okay. Uh, music, music. And you listen to music? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, can you be really specific about where you get your movies from and how you watch movies? Uh, turn it. Okay. And, like, uh, do you download them from sites or are, are these sort of pirate movies? Uh, or do, do you. Uh, yeah. Sorry? A lot, them, a lot of them are stolen. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pirate movies. Uh huh. And, and, well, but, movies. but do you? Uh, yeah, okay. And and do you watch the movies with subtitles in your own language or? No. Uh, uh, at first, uh, I am watching movies uh, for years now in English. Uh, the first uh, three months there was using subtitles, uh, subtitles, but I started to watch them without any and it's kind of fun. Yeah, okay. Now, we're, it, your, your connection is not good still, so we're having problems understanding you, but uh, I, I understood what you said. Well, well said. Uh, Ali, go ahead, please. Hi so, again. With a quick introduction. Yeah. <clears throat> you have some new Hi. students. Yeah, my name is Ali. I'm from Schenectady, New York, and I'm here for for job. And uh, <clears throat> uh, to get the job, I have to pass the English test, and the TOEFL TOEFL spoken language test, and it to require the pretty high <laughs> uh, high grading in the speaking, and it requires 26 out of 30 30 ah. marks. So that's why I I am here to learn English. And my favorite, <coughs> uh, favorite, uh, what can I say? Speak. Yeah, source. Uh, my favorite source uh, to learning to to learn English to get involved with English is the movies and cartoons. And I I watch a lot of cartoons and movies. Uh, okay, and so uh, now when you say cartoons, uh, what do you mean? 
animated cart movie cartoon and uh, other um, uh, on cartoon channels like Cartoon Network. Like and, and these are more for adults, you know, something like The Simpsons or. Um, I or can't are say. We and no, gen and they are for for chil child children, like Ben Ten series. Okay. Cartoon yeah. series. All right, great. And and you find that entertaining or a little bit easier to understand or. Uh, yeah, I I watch them. Usually, I watch movies with the subtitles, uh, especially comedy movies because comedy is difficult to understand. Right. Exactly. <clears throat> But the subtitles in your language mm. or in English? In English. In English. Yeah. I prefer okay. no. in subtitles in English. Okay. No, I, I really think that that's the key, that uh, if you're investing time in watching movies, you really need the subtitles in English uh, so that you're listening to and reading the English. I think you're going to learn so much more yes, that way. That's, yeah. that's my thinking. Ermilo, good e good evening. How are you? Ah, I'm very well. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Could you please introduce yourself to the other uh, participants? Oh, and we're talking can. about interesting books, magazines, movies, music in English. Okay. Uh, my name is Ermilo, and I live in Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, Mexico. I speak Spanish. That is my first language. Okay, uh, that's uh, what I can say now because I have a visit in this moment. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you're you're working. Uh, you got somebody in the store? <laughs> uh, uh, Ibrahim, go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, hi again, and. Um, just I would like to say uh, about uh, what I like to read or watch or listen just uh, about read like I, I would like to read some books okay but that is my specialist okay not like um, interesting uh, books right, uh, okay. about about listening just I would like I like to, to listen to the music but kind of music is that uh, suro suro or like uh, quietly quiet music not like uh -huh. rap or like this and about uh, no, sorry, you said surreal, surreal music, or surreal, surreal. Yeah, uh, you maybe yeah. have to send that word to me. But, yeah, uh, no, or no, 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 but not right now, but later. Uh, yeah. okay, okay, later. And um, about movies, I, I like I like to watch uh, to watch movie, uh, romantic and history. Historic movie, yeah, and sometimes, of course, when I need to uh, to watch Indian movies that is about romantic, I need to watch it with sub subtitle English, of course. Yeah. yeah. And okay. and also and also. So you're reading the English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and okay. and also uh, documentary films or movie okay. documentaries, yeah, but with sub subtitles, and if that is in English, that is better. Yeah, no, I, I really recommend documentaries uh, because they're usually slower and clearer and easier to understand. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Luis, how are you? Hey, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I'm good. <laughs> Excellent. And you? I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, could you uh, introduce yourself to the other students? And we're talking oh. about reading to listening, watching things in English. Oh, okay, okay. Hey everybody, I'm Luis, I'm from Brazil, uh, and I'm a beginning student. So, uh, what I like to read in English, uh, it's some uh, blogs, uh, and I like to, to read uh, lyrics, the uh, songs. The lyrics. Yeah, songs. Lyrics, yes, lyrics, yeah. yes. I, I really like because I, I want to understand the song. Right. And using that, I want to learn in, uh, English. And uh, and now, now, some do you do you understand the lyrics even when you uh, even when you read them? Sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, yes. And uh, I like to to try to understand some serials, TV serials, in series. using yes. 
using the English subtitles. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Great. Yeah. No. I, again, and and I think that is the the total key for everybody is uh, having the English subtitles. Yeah. Uh, Omar, hello again. Hello. Uh, my you name can is introduce Omar. yourself to the other students and. Hello, my name is Omar. I speak English and German. Uh, for me, I uh, uh, for me I believe that uh, research shows that studying uh, that le to learn language uh, the easiest way to learn language is by listening into music. When you listen to music, it's come to into your head more and more again. Then it's stuck with your head. Wherever you go, the words and the lyrics are uh, with you. But for me, I believe it's better to submerge with an English society, whether to add them in Facebook or even with, uh, with speaking with native speakers. Uh, search in your country where you can find more native speakers, anyone who can speak English. Create a group, circle, uh, cycles where you can only speak English, just to practice. Listening and reading are not enough. Oh, yeah, no, okay, and, and so, and, and this is why I'm offering, you know, these yeah. conversation classes because I think it's so easy to find information about grammar, it's easy to find things to listen to, it's uh, easy to write or read, but speaking is the key, yeah, absolutely, so, uh, that's the big challenge, I think. you need someone. Whose English, uh, whose English is his native uh, language. You may speak yeah. with yeah. other one, other one whose English is not a native native language. So you both have the same mistake, and no one would know. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Yeah, it's better than nothing. But yeah, uh, Osiel, how are you? Good to see uh -huh. you. I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, yeah. I really, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I really like reading. I try to read everything I can find, and I. Funny things like posts on the internet that make me laugh and things that for me that get, get you some knowledge. And I also try to learn New York Times and watch the posts. Sometimes it's hard getting into that thing because the news is complicated to read sometimes, but I try to read that. I, as everybody said, I like to watch the movies and watching, reading the subtitles in English. I don't like too much reading lyrics because I think sometimes that think it doesn't make any sense, the guys are just saying something and I don't like it so much. I don't feel like I'm learning, but I will respect the opinion of the author, of course. But I really like reading. I think it's a good way to learn something for other countries. You know, I'm reading something that probably I will not find in Portuguese that's my native language. Because no, it's not everything is translated for Portuguese. So if I can learn in English, I can read something that I will never, never probably read in Portuguese. So it's yeah. really important. No, excellent, and uh, I'm I'm starting to read some Portuguese from the BBC Portuguese website, uh, the the news that they have. But uh, yeah, and and your comment about songs, I think, is important. So everybody has to realize, and I'm sure it's the same in your language. I'm a native speaker, and there are a lot of songs in English that I don't understand. And even if I read the lyrics, I don't understand. It's like poetry and strange English. So uh, it's good to have a native speaker quickly look at the material that you want to read and recommend good things for you to read. Uh, uh, native speakers can do that. And that's one of the things that I offer my students. Uh, Sergio, are you there? Yes. Hey, hi there. I'm Sergio from Brazil, and I enjoy reading the teacher self books. Ah, so uh, yeah, how to books and mm -hmm. yes, yeah, like like what for example? Uh, for example, math and uh, oh, okay. Uh, at the time, I, I'm reading the Africans teacher self book. Uh, so uh, sorry, African. Africans is a, a oh. language similar similar to Dutch. Yeah, Afrikaans or yeah, yeah, and and so you it's a book that that teaches you how to speak that language. Yes. 
Okay. Some, All right. Some Great. basic things. Okay. Good. And and then um, uh, what what you you say that you read on the bus a lot. Uh, yes. Are are you reading in English? Yes. I'm using it too, reading English. Uh, okay, no, that's a uh, that's a great way to get practice. And uh, we'll we'll go back to Ahmed. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry, about my connection. I'm still working on it. Yeah. Uh, tr yeah. Try again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the most Interesting thing I read in English. Uh, a book who, te who is teaching the Russian? So uh, you're you're learning Russian I'm in learning English. Ah, uh, it's great. <laughs> uh, I tried to learn it uh, from an Arabic book, but it was so difficult because uh, uh, the Arabic language has. Uh, so strange, uh, letters, uh, uh, phonetics, everything different uh, from the Russian language. But English is a little bit easier, at okay. least uh, uh, not so strange from the Russian. Uh, okay, all right, great, yeah. And and just uh, before uh, Ali, before you go ahead, just. English, uh, I really feel that if people can find things to read that are on the internet, and I posted one link to uh, the BBC Learning English uh, um, website, they have a lot of text that you can read, and you can also listen to an MP3 file, an audio file, so that you're reading and you're getting the, uh, the pronunciation. So, really good combination. Uh, Ali, go ahead, please. Yeah, you have posted a link. Uh, I sometimes use that, that link too, and oh, it's a good it's a good site. And I have learned one to one or two th things from there, like uh, <clears throat> I learned uh, uh, the meaning of right down to the wire. That that is that's used in the English. So um, I didn't know what what that what that means, but now I know. And you didn't also, know what that meant. But yeah, now you what do. That, yeah, what that meant. Yeah, that's a good expression. <clears throat> right down to the wire. Yeah. Uh, what, what does it mean? <laughs> it does mean on the last moment, uh, right to right till the till till death or uh, at the last moment. Yeah. So very right close to death. the deadline. Yeah. The, the end of the race. Yeah. yeah. And also, <clears throat> I listen to the CNN and uh, BBC uh, news channels. It uh, it helps a lot. Like uh, <clears throat> uh, and there is a lot of discussion nowadays on fiscal cliff, <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't know what is the fiscal cliff, but uh, now I somewhat uh, know about that. What is this? What what does what does it mean? And yeah, uh, what it what it, now you know what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. The budget and, uh, debate in the United mm, States. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on, but those, that's some great ideas. I p posted another link about the British Council is a very uh, well known uh, organization that teaches English, and they have this amazing section on grammar. All the grammar that you will ever need is totally free and available and world-class quality from from that website so yeah great uh, Ed, Milo, please go ahead with a comment okay thank you very much yep. uh, well uh, I'd like to see uh, on the on the internet uh, there is a website I like to visit uh, a lot uh, it is BOA Voice of America, uh, in special English, and oh my God, another basic. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, you're busy tonight. That's good. Sorry, just uh, yeah, the VOA. I I'm going to post the uh, the link for that. It's great. Luis, go ahead with another comment, please. Okay, okay. Um, when I start to uh, start to learn English. 
uh, I used to to access this website to improve my my listening my listening uh, there, there is there is a a lot of podcasts uh, and it's too broad talking uh, if they are uh, there is two boy two brothers brothers ah, okay ah, yeah. brothers mm -hmm. yes talking uh, day by day uh, uh, a lot of um, topics and and this uh, I improved my listening because I have so difficult to understand it yet but I I can uh, improve that. No, so, I, and uh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm going to post uh, two websites, uh, ehow.com and about.com. And they have loads of different topics. It's, it's usually do it yourself and, and uh, you know, um, kind of teaching you how to do things. But they have native speakers doing videos and all of the videos have a transcript so you can read the transcript and listen to the person and really that's a great way to uh, one improve your listening skills and two you can actually learn something useful like I don't know training your dog or something like that, <laughs> or, or good, good. fixing your computer or something. yeah <laughs> Uh, so Omar, go go ahead, please. Uh, what should I speak about? <laughs> well, no, uh, we want to know about where you find interesting things to listen to, read, and watch in, in English. Uh, an interesting thing is uh, ebooks. When you have oh, yeah. e in, in I thought in most of the ebooks are free online. When you, when you have an iPod, you can go anywhere. You can uh, uh, now if you ha have a book uh, carrying all the time, it's not an easy thing, especially when it's a raining day where you have to put uh, to book your book. And another thing to be mentioned is an audio book. Whenever whenever you are at a mall waiting for someone, you can just uh, put uh, put on your headphones on your and hear the audio book. When you hear the audio books, you learn a lot of words, a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, what we call sets, uh, sentences or what the long uh, uh, phrases. Words. Phrases. You learn, phrases. You learn a lot of yeah. phrases. It's mm -hmm. better that you learn phrases than one word. One man uh, said that learning a southern word is not a thing, but learning a southern phrase, then I can say you speak English as fluent. Okay, no, that's that's good advice. I, I agree, and uh, I put another website in. It's called Breaking News English. Uh, there are other, there are seven other websites associated with this. It's all legal, all free, and they are lesson plans for English classes. But you have news stories with the audio, and you have vocabulary exercises listening, filling in the blanks, uh, everything. There are literally thousands. I think he has 5,000 of these um, uh, lesson plans. It's a great website. I've used it a lot. Uh, highly recommend it. Osio, uh, go ahead, please. Yeah, thanks so much for posting this blog, oh. uh, the site there, because I, I'm opening all of them. I think I have like 38 things open in my browser right now. Yeah, I, put I, some, I put some called uh, Yes, I Know What. It's a really good one. I like it. Talk about science and computers and fiction. I really recommend that if you guys can go through and look for something there. Uh, I don't know. I sorry, just sorry. Could, you, could you just repeat that last uh, part? I, I missed some of that. Uh, a website about science, or yeah, about science, about words, about geography, about everything. The guy wrote there. The site is called Yes, I know what. I can copy again. I can keep that. And okay. about everything, information, and I think it's a good way to look for learning, reading things there. I feel good reading that. 
Yeah, okay. No, I, I just think that, uh, and even for beginner students, I really think it's so important for people to start reading real English as soon as possible. And it's a slow process, but uh, that's the way that you develop your vocabulary the, the quickest. And I, I wanted to ask all of you if you could put uh, a link on where you find translations for your language. Uh, the best site that you have to translate English into your language. I would love to know some more of those. I, I know good sites for Spanish, but yeah. And uh, one more tip is SBS from Australia. Uh, they broadcast the news in, um, in English, of course, but they also broadcast the news in many different languages. So uh -huh. I practice my Spanish by listening to the news from Australia in Spanish. So, yeah. hey, can, can I ask you something? Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, can I ask you something pretty quickly? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd like, I'd like to know if you recommend we stood like uh, Australian English and British English, American English at the same time. Do you think it's not going to make us confused or something? I'm just studying American English and sometimes yeah. I find words in British that I don't understand, but I, I just yeah. would like to understand if you think it's a. It's no, I, I think it's just oh, when, when you're ready. So maybe for beginning students, very beginning students, it might be better for them to focus on one accent. But uh, at your level, I think you should just be looking for things that you find interesting and motivating to listen to and read. And, uh, uh, you know, try not to try, try to pick things that are more global or international not like very specific to, to places, you know, so I mean if, if you go to an English city, Vancouver or New York or London or Sydney, Australia, people are going to speak somewhat the same. The problem is is when you're going to small towns and small places, then the English gets really local and, and really difficult, yeah. Uh, Sergio, another comment from you, please. Uh, there is a good website that I would like to share with you. That's called Link. Oh. Uh, you can have both uh, the transcript and the audio. <laughs> because English has a very difficult uh, spelling system. And you have to learn both the word and the pronunciation. And here you can also save the words that you, you don't know. Yeah, no, please, please go ahead. Have, have you used Link uh, quite a bit? And uh, Sergio, uh, we're having trouble understanding you. Uh, I used to, to understand some words that are really difficult to, to foretell the pronunciation. And because I started learning a lot of words without knowing the pronunciation, now I can have a lot of words and the pronunciation without trying to, to get uh, each word. Yeah, no, uh, 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 to tell you the truth, I love verbling and <laughs> I, uh, I'm really hoping that, that verbling continues. But uh, Link is my total, my favorite website for learning. Uh, they have the combination of the audio and the transcript and also a quick easy way to get uh, a translation and I think translating word for word or phrase by phrase is the best way to improve your English it's so fast and uh, you can continually review the uh, the meanings of the words in terms of your language you're linking English to your native language. I think that's very important. So, And then I put the posting there about chickensoup.com and if you sign up with them they will send you a free story every day on the internet. Now uh, these stories are somewhat uh, advanced and they use a lot of um, let me see uh, uh, advanced phrases and expressions, meaning everyday expressions, but uh, for, for those of you with a, a 
who really enjoy reading and with a more advanced level, I recommend Chicken Soup. Uh, the books are called Chicken Soup for the Soul. They're short little stories. Uh, they're motivational, uh, a little bit religious, if that's okay with you, but uh, they're, they're free stories that they'll send to you every day. Uh, Ahmed, go ahead with a comment, please. Hi. Uh, one of the amazing things to learn English is games. Uh, in games, you need to listen carefully, very carefully, because if you don't, you'll get lost. You won't know what to do. A uh, game like Sons of Creed it makes you learn English and uh, some Spanish, some Italian. It's amazing. And and uh, what game is this? What game is this? Now uh, you'll you'll have to send it to us in in the chat box. I can't quite understand you. Okay. Sessions. Yeah. And so this this game is for learning languages? No, no. It's uh, it's a game, but it has a ah. story that you need okay. to listen carefully to the character in the game uh, who's telling you what to do, where okay. to go. Because there are no uh, actions in the game, no arrow to go there or go there. You only have okay. to listen okay. to what to do and do it. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you have to follow directions. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, excellent. Very cool. Uh, Ali, uh, please go ahead with another idea. Yeah, <clears throat> I sometimes, uh, well, not sometimes, but I usually watch my favorite sports, and uh, they they have co English commentators who comment on the sports, uh, like I watch cricket, very, I like cricket, and uh, it helps, it did help me to improve, to improve my English, and uh, some now, but you, you, you need to pick a sport that's fairly slow, correct? Hello? Hello? Are, are you there, Ali? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that your telephone? <laughs> no, I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah I tell you. No, uh, sorry. It, it's, but, like, for example, the soccer or football commentators, they speak too quickly. I can't understand anything they're saying. So cricket no. is a slow game. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also <clears throat> read the cricket blogs uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's, that that helped me in, uh, to improve my reading skills. And I and I also read the uh, comedy about uh, on the cricket. So okay. the, uh, yeah. the comedy is very good thing to understand yeah. in the English. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to move ahead, but uh, yeah, excellent. You're listening, reading, uh, blogs, yeah, awesome. Uh, Farouk, hello. Hello, Farouk. <laughs> all, we're, all we're hearing is noise, sorry. Sorry, Farouk, uh, I'll, I'll let you get your microphone set up. Uh, Luis, go ahead, please, with another comment or another okay. idea. <clears throat> uh, uh, like uh, somebody said here, yeah. Ahmed, Ahmed, uh, he played uh, Aston Creed. Uh, I'm a little ashamed to say that, but... <laughs> I used to play tibia. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> when I play that, uh, it's only in English, and I need uh, in there I need to uh, have a and sell, selling and buying some things, etc. And it, that's uh, helped me with my English also. Okay, uh, now sorry, play, play what, what was the name of the game? Tibia. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, you can write it in later, but yeah. yeah. Com Everton. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Sorry. Everton, could you please turn off your microphone, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Luis. So, 
that uh, helped me with my English. And uh, another game is also uh, because uh, the mo uh, the most uh, a lot of game that doesn't have Portuguese language. Okay. Also English, and I need to understand uh, just a little to to can to can play can play it. Yes. To to be yeah. able to be able to play. Yes, yes, uh, yes You yes, need to, to understand to English yes. to be able to play. No, oh, awesome. Yes, yes, Great. yes. Uh, Omar, go ahead with another uh, idea, another suggestion. Another idea for studying English online. Can you pass me by? I'll speak. Uh, oh, oh, okay, sure. We'll come back to you later. Osiel, uh, another uh, suggestion? I'm just like me. I don't know if I have something more to put. I'm just listening. <laughs> I like reading books. I like okay. reading uh, video games to open some video games. Yeah, but can you know. can you give us like one one suggestion of a book or a magazine or? I was reading a, a magazine about Linux a few weeks ago because Linux is most from other countries and I can't find some good thing in Portuguese so when I need to read some information and learn something about Linux I need to study the magazine. Yeah, okay. And, and then, um, you know, uh, have you found, like, have, have people found any good online newspapers? Or uh, has anybody gone to uh, iTunes? Uh, I have listened to literally, literally thousands of hours of podcasts in Spanish from iTunes, all completely legal, completely free, uh, about all kinds of really interesting subjects like self-improvement or science, obviously news, uh, and I watched a series about making wine. And and so uh, all, I really recommend going to iTunes and looking in the podcasts section. Yeah, uh, Sergio. I thought, was, yeah. I, I thought yeah. there was not nothing free in iTunes. That's uh... no. Uh, sorry, uh, iTunes podcasts free. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, and some specifically for for learning English. Yeah, uh, Sergio. Sorry, go ahead. There is a man called Steve Ford, and he teaches English. And uh, uh, as he he speaks, he he put the transcript, and you can follow both the 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 speech and the the transcript. And it is also very good because he teaches you how to learn some phrasal verbs and some things that aren't aren't uh, taught in normal courses. Yeah, and uh, what what does he talk about? Like lots? Does he talk about learning English or does he talk about different yes. subjects? And yeah, about about English culture, culture, and uh, uh, almost everything. Okay. And he make and, and, it, he, he broke it down he breaks down the 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 top the subject. Uh, yeah, you know, okay. And and what's his accent? Where is he from? Uh I think is is a little uh Canadian. Is that, is that right? Oh, okay. Canadian? A uh, Canadian. Oh, okay. All right. I'll have to look him up. Okay, and uh, Everton, are you there? Everton, are you there? Hello. Everton, are you there? <laughs> we want to get you in the class. Please turn on your microphone. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come back yeah, to you yeah. right away. Oh, Me? oh no, go ahead. Okay, you know? Yes, perfect. Go ahead. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hello? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? No, nope. oh, sorry, it's gone. Uh, Ali, are you there? Yes. Are you ready for another 
Other suggestion? Mm, yeah, <clears throat> as uh, I told you that I am a TOEFL student, so I <clears throat> I sometimes uh, read the book books uh, about the TOEFL, and it contains uh, a lot of uh, different activities which help Im improve my English. And uh, there is a and there is also a teacher who teaches TOEFL, uh, especially TOEFL. Uh, it's na his name is Joseph Miranda. Uh, okay. Uh, he is a good student. Sometimes I listen to his online classes, so that's another source I use. Yeah. Could could you put that in the in the chat box, please? Uh, his name. But uh, now, are these free? Are these free materials? G. Uh, hello. G yeah. Yeah, Ali, uh, are are these free materials? Oh no, it's not free. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, some of for some of his classes are free, are freely available on the YouTube, uh, okay. and everyone can um, see and look 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 at them. Yeah. And and his site name is noteful dot com. I I can post it in the yeah, great. chat. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And uh, Omar, are you ready for another uh, comment? Yeah. Uh, we you have already talked about something I really am interested in now uh, to know about the accent. If the mm -hmm. world is becoming a small town where there is only one accent around the world, when we watch a movie, almost most of the uh, movie stars speak with one accent. When someone is from New York, California, but when we see uh, like you like you said. Uh, small town or like Texas, like somewhere uh, there, you can't understand them. They have their own private accent. Does the media has this influence in the accent? Yeah. Now uh, I know that one story is the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, and for many many years, maybe even a century, maybe a hundred years, <laughs> of, of broadcasting they selected people who had the British uh, sort of traditional British uh, accent and uh -huh. now they're including people with other accents but there was sort of an official BBC accent but I, I just think that accents will disappear when more people are exposed to everyone else's accents and they yeah. start to mix or combine. And so I think cultures that, that have very strong accents, those are people who have somewhat lived within their own culture. And and, and so that's that's my opinion. But yeah, as a student absolutely. learning Spanish, you know that, that Spanish speakers have got a lot of different accents, uh, very, very strong accents. And and it's a challenge. Yeah, is that yeah. it? Is it something wrong that you have an accent? Like when you travel from a country to another, if I come for USA, for example, I have an accent. Is it something wrong or something you are ashamed of? Oh, yeah. No, that's a great question. Um, I'm from Canada, and many of our big cities, over half the population is made up of people who were born in other countries. So every day, you see people that have a very strong accent and their English is full of mistakes, I guess, mm -hmm. and we don't care. We, we don't smart. care. And, and so uh, you should be proud of the fact that you know English and uh, because uh, billions of people are trying to learn English and they can't say a word. So you've got to be proud of your accent. That, that's my opinion. Uh, Sergio, please go ahead with uh, with another idea or comment. There is a very interesting website where you can find uh, the transcript of the Dragnet series. Do you know uh, <laughs> the yeah. Audio Time Radio? And uh, now they are free. You can download them here. Yeah. And the okay. PDF, and you can also download the the sounds. And there are many interesting stories about uh, police. Or I don't know. Um, yeah, those are detective stories. Yes. Uh, police stories. Yeah, right. Now, this is the old radio program or yes. TV. Uh, we don't have we don't have them now. 
nowadays, but they were famous in the uh, six. No, no, uh, in the sixties. No, but but sorry, Sergio. Uh, I know what you're talking about. But is this was this originally a radio program or the television program? No, no, it was a series. Uh, a it, TV series. It was series. just a series. Yes. Yeah. Okay. On on television. No, no. Uh, it was on the radio. Radio. Oh, uh, okay. On the radio. Oh, okay. Yeah, a radio program. Yeah, we usually say in English a radio program or a television show or a television series. Oh. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Ali, uh, another comment about. Uh, um, I mean, let's say, uh, where? How do you translate your uh, your English into your native language? Uh, actually, <clears throat> I I feel that I don't need to translate it because I can understand, but I can't speak it. That's my problem because okay. I I am from uh, the country in which uh, there is no. <laughs> Uh, there are no native speakers uh, who can fluently speak with you. So now, now I am in America. So uh, I think uh, meeting with the uh, native people and different uh, people it helps a lot to yeah. <clears throat> to in, to increase your uh, speaking skill, and, and they they can also tell you about how to approach the language. So it also helps. No, well, you have access to native speakers, so you can write down an expression like coming down to the wire, and you can ask somebody what that means. Yes. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I'm not saying necessarily uh, academic words, but, you know, slang expressions or jokes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, there, are, there are some websites for looking up those kinds of things. I, 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 I put another link on here, now, and this might be a good link for er, Ermilo and, um, and for Sergio. Uh, it's Lingro, uh, but there are other languages. I think maybe German is on there. Mm -hmm. Now, li oh, what you do good. is you have a text file. You save it as a text file. You can upload it to their website. It's totally free and legal and their website reads your text and so when you are reading and you don't know what the word is all you have to do is click on the word and a definition or a translation will pop up automatically and okay. so I really love the website that is and, a, uh, I, I, I highly recommend it yeah I highly recommend it er Ermilo you're, you're busy this evening Well, I hope you want to have another visit. <laughs> uh, that's what I hope. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please, with uh, with a comment. Okay. Uh, well, uh, how I was uh, telling you before, uh, I like too much to uh, surf uh, through the internet and I found a website called BOA Special Inch. And I like that because I found in there, um, there, there are some, uh, some texts and the MP3, the, the pronunciation of all the words of the text. And I can download the MP3 and the PDF. I can follow the reading, and at the same time, I am reading the text. And in this way, I can learn the right pronunciation of the words. Um, I like too much this website because oh, yeah. the, the reading of the MP3 is not too fast, not too slow. Yes, oh. uh, it is uh, at, uh, at speed, um, not exactly slow, but it is understandable. 
No, I, I totally agree with you. Congratulations on finding. I've actually posted the uh, website, uh, VOA. Yeah, I, I highly recommend uh, yeah. it. It's really great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I uh, Omar, see. go ahead, please, with a with a comment. Yeah. With the comments, with the comments, with the comments. I have nothing on mine. <laughs> I like to. I've, I've said oh. all. I have. No, no, but uh, let me see. Uh, do you spend a lot of time on the internet? Yeah, I do. I have nothing to do. Yeah. Well, okay. So and, and so, but what what do you look at? Uh, I mean, do you go surfing in in English? Yeah, surfing in English. Yeah. Do you I surf, surf the, the next internet? To the sea or next to the sea? <laughs> no, but that you know that expression, don't you? Surfing the <laughs> internet. Yeah, I surf in the internet most of the time, especially asking for it. Uh, I'd like to be a transfer student, so I'm communi communicating with some of the German universities. That's why I'm studying wow. German. I have reached uh, a good level in German, so right now I'm trilingual. That's a good thing for me. Awesome. 19 years yeah. old. And <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, and so what do you read in German? Do you read uh, some, some sports? Because I haven't ate German yet. You, I I'm sorry? Ate, I haven't aced the German yet. Ah, uh, okay. No, but I, but you're, you're reading, aren't you? Yeah, I can read, but I can't yeah. read. Uh, I can't speak as much as I, I, I speak good in English. I need okay. a lot of time. As I told you, reading or listening are easy, but what is hard is speaking. Especially okay. when you concentrate, okay. when you. Yeah. That's my point. Now, uh, Sergio isn't here anymore, but, uh, oh, wait a second, maybe he is. Uh, yes. Link, uh, will you can go to Link and you can read a conversation and listen to it. And so that way, it will maybe help you speak because you're listening to a real conversation between two native speakers. So that's, that's, that's something yes. good. Ser Sergio, do you have something to show us? Uh, there is a website that you, I know uh, all of you know called YouTube. <laughs> uh, I like to see music and practice my my listening, hearing to listening to music, new music. Because when I when I see the transcript, I I know I know what what the person is saying. But when the music is completely new. I can I can see if I'm making progress or not. Okay, good. Yeah. Now on YouTube, uh, they have the lyrics for a lot of the songs. Yeah, they have. Yes. Yeah, and and even some karaoke music, etc. So you can practice your singing. Uh, uh, Wallace, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking you. about here? Yeah, we're talking about where you find interesting things to read, listen to, and watch in English. So, actually, I downloaded a book, I mean, expression books. The name of the book is Speak English Like in America. So, actually, I don't read a lot through the Internet. I just like to talk English on Skype with friends from the United States because I've been practicing my English for, I guess, one year. I'm not sure. Uh, I just started in January and then right now you know I get I think books is sucks I don't like no <laughs> everyone, oh, yeah, everyone but how has about magazines or blogs or yeah no books. I don't they like suck too? <laughs> yes I just like okay. to start expression the idioms because yeah. in this book we can learn a lot of vocabulary even expressions yeah. Because okay. we need to learn expression. Without expression, yeah. we just speak a universal English. Right, okay. Oh, cool. Okay, good. Uh, so I'd just like to get a, a final comment, a uh, quick comment from everybody. Uh, Ali? Yeah, <clears throat> talking about the books, books does help and do help, but uh, books should be of, uh, of the person's interest so yeah. that he can read it with uh, comfort and interest. Sure. No, I agree. And and then as a native speaker, I can help people find things that are written in an everyday conversational style. 
So you're not reading something that's kind of like a textbook or academic. Mm -hmm. uh, Ermilo, uh, uh, a quick final comment, please. Yeah, uh, I, I want to add uh, that I, I found another, another site uh, where I was uh, uh, visiting uh, sometimes. Uh, it, it's called BBC, BBC Radio. And um, I like uh, this this place, but uh, the um, the pronunciation is a little bit uh, different because they are uh, from the United Kingdom, and uh, and the uh, uh, American English is a li uh, is a little different the pronunciation. Yeah. You know, uh, Ermilo, you should go to the high schools where you are, and you should teach. The students in the high school, how do you... You froze. I think he's distracted. You're breaking out. <laughs> I think he's gone. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, Okay, I just sent a book where you can have where you can learn a lot of expressions. I mean, you have, I guess, one hundred seventy page, just with expression and conversation with a family who made the book. What is the name of the book? Just send the link, just check this out. Neymar. You have just hidden the book right now. Are, are you there? <laughs> so I, I, I hope you guys continued. Uh, I, I have no idea why I lost my connection there. Um, I, I just wanted to say to Ermilo that you should be really proud of yourself for the resources that you have found on the internet and you should go to the high schools where you live and teach the teenagers how to use the resources that are on the internet uh, <laughs> and, and so uh, 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 Sergio do you have a, a final comment? Keep studying and yeah Okay, <laughs> sorry, and 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 Wallace, uh, a final comment from you <laughs> about the books. Well, anything, anything. <laughs> Just okay. we, we have to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let let me give some advice. I mean, if I really, really wanna speak English fluently and naturally, you have to practice a lot. You know, you have the keys on the internet because you have a lot of native speaks over there and then you know I've never been to an English school that's the reason why you know I just speaking like an American and then you have to just practice a lot even expressions or English you think is a difficult things but you can pass that you know yeah, never when, give up. When you say that you need to practice a lot what do you mean? Are you at home practicing, repeating things, or or just finding people to talk to? Hey, I mean, when you just turn on your computer, you don't have anything special to do. Just open your Skype or the verbal link. It is a good tool to learn English and then practice more, more, and more. Okay. Even awesome. when it's COVID over. <laughs> exactly. All right. It was a great conversation. Thanks to all of you. Excellent, excellent to uh, to meet you. Uh, Thank you. And uh, nice to see you again. Uh, Wallace, where are you from? Brazil. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Okay. okay. Hey. Good night. Uh, all the best.